Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're going to be making a peppermint milkshake. Because the holidays are right around the corner, we're going to start our Christmas recipes, and I hope everyone's doing well on this Tuesday night. So we'll give it a minute for some people to come on, and then we'll get started with our peppermint milkshake. So it's a really simple milkshake, that's for sure, and uh, we'll get right into this in just a moment. Give it a minute and we'll get some people on here <clears throat> make sure everything's going good dorothy hi yum your favorite is peppermint awesome i made some peppermint uh christmas cookies too recently uh that won't be up probably sunday maybe we'll see hi james how are you i'm doing good christina hi uh phyllis hello uh chicken mcnuggets do i have snow where i live i do not have snow where i live nope we didn't get hit with the snow. Uh, I am in the mid-Atlantic states in Maryland, so no snow for us. Uh, hi, Tim. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Frankie. Uh, this one should be exciting. Yes. So, hello from Tennessee, Tim. Uh, yep. Um, good evening. Good evening, everyone. All right, so uh, pretty much this is a simple recipe, and... Uh, it's just a, a milkshake recipe. Now, first, before we get started, what do you guys think about what we should put it in? Um, so we have our classic, um, this is a mason jar, just a classic mason jar that we could put it in. Or we can get festive with this holiday mug. Uh, there are some upsides and downsides to both. Since this is clear, we can put stuff inside of it and you can see inside of it. So when it's all done, we can use the mason jar. Uh, that's good. The bad part about this, even though it's festive for everything, you can't really see through it. So you can't really see any of the you know, decorative stuff we have there. Uh, hello from Gr Glendale, Arizona. Hello. Hello again. Hi. Uh, hello from Birmingham, Alabama. Hello. Christina Street. Hi. Mason jar, as Chick McNugget says. Um, we have over a foot of snow. Ooh, <laughs> mason jar. Uh, use the glass jar, Frankie says. So yeah, most people are saying use the glass jar, and I think that's the right way to go, just so we can see inside it. Now we got to decide how we want to decorate this, because we want to do that part first before we actually make the milkshake. That way, when we make the milkshake, we can pour it in, and it'll be all good to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to mason jar. And I went to Walmart today. I picked up some stuff. That way we can decorate this. Obviously, we have some candy canes, right? So we had to do some candy canes. I'll grab maybe a couple of those, maybe one or two of those out. I'm sure I'll be using a lot of them this season. This season. All right, so we have that. I have a giant candy cane that we can put in there, too. Too bad it's not hollow. We could use it as a straw. Um, Here's something else we have. We can sprinkle this on the top. These are uh, peppermint chunks. It's almost like peppermint bark, but it's like all crunched up into little chunks. And uh, there's a lot more stuff I have. This is this is edible. It's a little cottage, a gingerbread cottage. I don't know how I'm going to decorate it with that, but what the heck, we'll try it. Arcade Arcade, hi, how are you? Um, oh, I have these. These are, they're like little M&Ms. They're called Sixlets, and uh, they're chocolate candies, almost like M&Ms. I know I've had them before. Uh, so Kim says, love the peppermint. Hi from Minnesota. Hi. Where are you? I am in Maryland. Hello from California. Hi. So yeah, so we're gonna decorate it with this stuff. Um, what should we put inside? Should we do, should we make this a chocolate peppermint or should we just do a regular peppermint? That is the question. James, do I live by myself? Yes, I do. Uh, so should I do a chocolate? I could do a chocolate peppermint. I have vanilla ice cream, but I could put chocolate sauce into there and mix it up and make it a chocolate peppermint because I can't remember if I have ever made a peppermint milkshake before or not. Uh, the years kind of run together, but I can make a chocolate peppermint because I know I haven't done that before. So when I mix up the vanilla ice cream, I could put a little chocolate sauce in there and make it a chocolate peppermint. 
Um, and then how are we going to decorate this? Uh, I could put some chocolate sauce in there. I could also, I could, strawberry, I don't know if that would really make good. Uh, Lisa Jackson says, do I have kids? I do not. I have five nephews and a niece. That's about all the kids I have. Even great nephews and nieces now. Um, chocolate. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do a chocolate peppermint. So that's going to make it a little special. Chocolate peppermint. That's what we're going to do. I'm trying to think of ways that we can decorate this, the inside of this glass. Um, I have chocolate sauce. I have strawberry sauce. But I don't know if strawberry really goes good with peppermint. Let's just do a little bit of chocolate. We're going to do a little bit of chocolate sauce in the glass. Most of the decorations are going to be done after we make the milkshake on this one. Um, just because. It's just the way it is on this one. So let me angle these down. Get the camera so that we can see everything. And I'll make sure Facebook can see everything. Sorry. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of chocolate sauce in there. And... I'm just gonna drizzle this right like that since we're making a chocolate peppermint anyway there we go that's our chocolate in there now we're also going to use chocolate in the actual milkshake so I have my blender here let me plug this in get everything ready Let's see if I can angle that up a little bit more sorry I keep moving you around Facebook but you know we got to get you Got to get you just right. There we go, right here. So now we're going to put in some ice cream. Now I suggest three or four scoops. It really depends on how much you want to make. Like if you're just making one glass or a whole bunch of glasses. And you can use any kind of ice cream you want. I'm just using a simple ice cream from Walmart. Nothing special. This is just vanilla ice cream. Plop some in there. I'm gonna go make it like four and a half scoops of ice cream. I'm gonna make it extra thick. Put ice cream back in. So we got that. Also, we're going to put in about a cup of milk. Now, I can measure this out, but, you know, what are we going to do? So about a cup of milk is what I'm going to put in here. I'm not measuring it, but you can, of course. We got to put some chocolate in there because we're going to make this a chocolate peppermint, right? I don't know how much chocolate we're going to put in there, but we're going to go with about that. And the most important thing is I have peppermint extract. Now, don't put a lot of this in there because it's very powerful. And just a little bit. Someone says, please do peppermint ice cream. I am well on it. Trust me. <laughs> that might be out for this Thursday. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, since I did that, let me open this up. These are our little peppermint chunks. They're actually chocolate and like white chocolate peppermint. Here, I'll show you what they are. So these come like this. They're just white chocolate peppermint. I'm going to put some of those in there too. All right. And I think that's all I need in there, right? I think so. Here you go. Let's close this up. All right. So hold your ears for a moment. We're just going to blend this up. amazing okay all right so hopefully I made enough of it we'll see let's move this out of the way and we're gonna pour this in uh, cinnamon milkshake that's what someone says eggnog milkshake I do plan on doing an eggnog milkshake that is one I do plan on doing 
Uh, we have the whole holiday season to do this. All right, so. Now I'm just gonna remove my the blade part of this and get a spatula to pull that stuff out. We're going there we go. Nice thick milkshake. I'm just gonna pour it right on out in there. This is a chocolate peppermint milkshake. Came on a little late that's what we just made and here we go we're gonna decorate this thing really good though sounds like a helicopter overhead <laughs> don't know if y'all can hear that it's TMZ all right all righty so we have that we got to decorate this a few different ways how are we gonna decorate this um, let's open up a candy cane first off I don't know if I'm gonna use the big one for this but we'll do the little one should have opened this ahead of time but oh well um, cinnamon milkshake uh, cheater you need to use real milk uh, real milkshake machine yeah. milkshake is a milkshake you want one Peppermint Hershey Kisses are the bomb. Yeah, I saw those at the store today, and I was thinking about getting them to decorate this, and I didn't. But I'm going to stick this in like that. All right, and I'm going to do, let's do some whipped cream. Put that away. All right. Got to do some. Oh wow, <laughs> this just made a mess. It was coming out of here. That's okay. Let me get the other one. <laughs> All right, new one <laughs> came out sideways. That's what happens when you use too much of it. Mm. All right, is it too late to change the title? Oh, to chocolate peppermint? No, because I'll end up changing it afterwards. Because um, I only change. I think I made it like just peppermint or whatever. But I'll definitely change it afterwards. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, if everyone, hopefully everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. If you're in the U.S., obviously. Opening this thing. There we go. Finally opened it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. It's not bad. I did make a big mess down the side here mm. All right And we need How are we gonna decorate this? We'll decorate the top obviously with some of these I had other things. Where did I put them? I don't know I had other stuff don't know where I put them but I did get other things to decorate. Oh, let's get some. Because sprinkle some red sprinkles on here. Because it's very festive. Red. These sexlets. Sixlets. I can't talk. Sixlets chocolate candies. These are hard to open. They don't look very hard to open, but they are, trust me. All right. All right. So we're going to put some of these on here. They're just red, green, and white. Just for decorative purposes, really. I think that's good. Let's put that. Um, hmm. Oh, we got to put some more of our little peppermints. A couple of those on there and should we do well we're definitely going to do a red straw right this looks pink I think but hey we'll go with a red straw this is a paper straw go with that 
And anything else? How else can we decorate this? I'm trying to think. You missed the video. That's okay. It'll be up afterward. Um, so we got that, that, that. It was a pretty short one today for the most part. But how do you guys like it? Let's see. I'll turn it this way. What do you think? Oh, Facebook camera's pretty high up. But There you go. That's what it looks like. We have our little... Called six lits. We have our peppermint chocolates on there. Got candy cane, straw, mm, peppermint dust. See, you could also crush up a candy cane and that will work as well. I do recommend that. That's a really good way to decorate this if you're going to make it at home. Thank you, Keith and Vlad, and cherry on top. Oh, well, yeah, we can do that. Let's see. no good until you have a cherry on top right <laughs> here I love cherries someone says chocolate on top what do you guys think chocolate on top yes or no yes or no to chocolate on top I can do it I can drizzle some chocolate on there too much uh cherry on top yes uh let me know chocolate on top yes or no and i do need to get pictures of this thing Sorry, I had to get my SD card, which is uh, always chocolate. That's what someone says. I'll take a couple pictures of it without chocolate first, just to get some pictures, and then we'll add some chocolate to it. Maybe get some better angles of the camera. unplug this this thing is in the way it's these wires and stuff that doesn't look all right so we'll put some chocolate on there now here I'll move that out of the way it's not too bright all right there we go some chocolate sauce on top Get some pictures of that. Oh, I guess I need to get the light back in front. There we go. Get a couple more pictures. That's <laughs> so bright. Yeah, sorry about the brightness, guys. We'll fix that in just a moment. There we go. All right, so that's good. I just had to get a couple pictures for Instagram. And we'll angle this up and we'll give it a try and see how it tastes. Let's angle my camera up so you guys can see me and that way you can watch me enjoy the taste. <laughs> We're missing sprinkles. I put some sprinkles on there. You missed that, huh? I put some red sprinkles on there. There's a little bit of red sprinkles on there. Yeah. So let's see. Y'all ready for me to try this out and taste this? All right. So here we go. This is our chocolate peppermint milkshake. Homemade. All homemade. Perfect. You can make it yourself. You can even go above and beyond and decorate it way more than I did. Um, oh, the cherry on top fell off. Let's eat the cherry first. You need a shake now. Hmm. Cherry's the best part. Hmm. All right, so let's give us a try. See how it tastes.
perfect amount of chocolate and peppermint. It's not overwhelming on either amount. Like I said, be careful with the peppermint because you put too much in there. It'll overwhelm the whole thing. You want to enjoy to not fair. Yeah, here, have a sip. Hmm. I'm holding it over my um, cutting board because it's going to make a mess. Now, after you drink it all up, you can eat all the little chunks of chocolate and everything. My hands are a mess now. Mm. But, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a short video today, and it, milkshakes usually don't take a long time. So, I don't want to, like, hold you up and sit there forever about a little tiny recipe like this. But it is a fun one to make, and it gives you some ideas for the holiday season if you want something to make as a dessert. And it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, my Thanksgiving was great. I hope all your Thanksgivings were great as well. And uh, just a reminder to be sure to check out all my other social medias, especially my Instagram at FunFoodsYT. Everything's FunFoodsYT. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Uh, TikTok. I've been putting a lot of videos out on TikTok lately. So yeah, TikTok uh, as well. So I hope everyone has a good rest of the week. Keep in mind Thursday is a uh, ice cream video. It will come out Thursday at 3 p.m. And then Sunday might be a special video coming out this Sunday. A really special one. It might be a collaboration video. So you want to keep an eye out for that for sure. Uh, but Thursday at 3 p.m. I will see you guys then and I hope you have a wonderful week.